Hello and welcome to the channel. Just a couple of hours ago, I stumbled upon this amazing notebook by Matt Schumer, where he is using Llama 3.1405 billion model to teach Llama 3.18 billion model to do optimal prompt engineering. In this notebook, Matt is using API based models where the main idea is to reduce the cost of 405 billion model so that it will just produce the prompt and 3.18 billion will carry out the optimal one. So I have changed the code and instead of using API based model, I have produced a new code where we will be using Llama 3.18 billion for a small model which will do the grunt work whereas we will use Llama 3.170 billion model to do the prompt engineering and it will teach Llama 3.18 billion as how to do the optimal prompt engineering and I will show you how. We will be using Olama for that. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest, fastest Llama.cpp Python wrapper to run large language models locally. So I already have downloaded both Llama 3.1 7, 8 billion and uh, 70 billion model in order to run it locally. Unfortunately, I couldn't run 405 billion model that is more than 200 gig in size. But still, what I have observed so far, the quality of the 70 billion is also not that bad at all, even in this size. So let's get started. Before I show you how the code works and how all this thing works, let me give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my VM where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. I already have Olama installed. If you don't know how to install it, please search my channel. I already have done heaps of videos on it as how to get it installed. So if I do Olama list here, you will see that both Llama 3.170 billion and Llama 3.18 billion is running locally. The size of 70 billion one is around 39 gig. If you don't have already, simply do Olama pull and then for 8 billion one, just write this Llama 3.1. And for 70 billion one, just add the 70 billion tag, something like this, and you should be good to go. So I already have them running locally on the default port at host. So that all said and done. Now let me show you how to create this code. And don't worry, I'm going to put all of the code which I'm going to use in my blog, and I will drop the link in video's description. So let me walk you through the code as how this thing works. Now the beauty of this prompt, GPT <clears throat> prompt engineer by Matt is that this is just a code. It's not a tool. It's just a Python script. That is what I have changed into Olama just by using his examples. And I will of course drop the link to his actual GPT uh, engineering notebook too. So that if you want to play around with that one, more than welcome to do so. And again, I really want to thank for Matt for writing the original notebook, which we have altered. Okay, so there is only one prerequisite which you need to do. All you need to do is to at the very end, or maybe I'll just do it here instead of here, sorry. Just in your terminal <clears throat> or wherever you are running, just do pip install Olama. And that's all you need to do. I already have it. Maybe I will also show you my Olama version. So pip show Olama. And it is going to show you the Olama version. So this is my Olama version so make sure you are running 0 0.3.0 which is the latest one and that is that supports this Llama 3.1 model so we are importing some of uh, importing some of the standard stuff like sys and all that stuff we are instantiating Olama client and it is running on my local host at this port this is the base URL for Olama then I'm defining these two models small one is Llama 3.1 and the big model is Llama 3.170 billion. Next up, what I'm doing, I'm just creating this function, which is called as candidate prompts. And what it is doing, it is first specifying the system prompt here as it receives a task prompt example and response example. So let me take you down 
towards the very end and i will show you how it works so because it's easier to uh, look at from there so i'll just go here on yeah, here so this is from this code start so all you need to do is to provide it a task whatever you need um, your prompt for for example i want the task of refactoring the code then all you need to do is to provide example of your prompt and what sort of response do you want just one example so in this one i'm asking it to refactor the code and then i have provided it this that okay if this is a code then refactor it something like this or whatever it can do and what this code is going to do it is going to generate seven examples right and then it is going to produce uh, it is going to uh, produce the best one which you can use so first up run conversion process is being called so let's go to run conversion process so what this conversion process is doing it is generating the candidate prompts right so it has been passed this task prompt example and this response example on the basis of it it is calling this generate candidate prompts generate system prompt and then from there it is testing the new prompt on the small model 3.18 billion and then from there after testing it is giving us the response back this is the response and then what it is doing it is just also putting in the results in this dictionary and from there it is saving it in the local file which it is going to call small model underscore from dot by and you can check it from there or you can even run it from there if you like so this is a function which drives it if i go above you will see that first we will have this test small model and then this small model is simply just taking the generated example prompt example and system prompt and testing it that's all it is doing there you go simple and this is a small model and this is the olama's api which is using this temperature and max token that it is going to use it and then and it is a simple open ai compatible api call which it is making now if you go up it has two functions one is for generate system prompt and other one is candidate prompt so system prompt it is just for the ai that what we wanted to do like given a user description of their task and a set of prompt do this 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 and do this perfectly so it is all prompt engineering very very nicely written prompt and then we are returning it back that's all it is doing there you go. the big model is generating the system prompt and then specifying some of the options afterwards similarly if you go up a little then we will have the candidate prompts where again we are giving it the system prompt that this is a needs to do and then this should be the response format and then we are passing the user prompt and then we are using the big model to generate the prompt and then we are simply returning it with the example and response there you go you see this is not only going to make the quality very high but it is also going to reduce the cost if you are using it api based and that is all it is doing so now let me run this code and then we will see how it works so let me clear the screen here and then it is python 3 and then let's run it to see what happens it is generating the prompts and responses it is all running locally and then as i said all it is doing it that we have given the ai a description of our task along with one input output example from there it is going to generate seven other great diverse examples that are similar in structure to our example it will then use those plus the task description to generate a system prompt and then it is going to put the examples in the right prompt format and test the generated prompt against our initial input example using llama 3.18 billion lastly it is going to save both the system prompt it generated and the ai created examples in a python for file pre-formatted for generation and there you go it has printed the response so now let's open that python file you can also check it there that it has done something but it will be easier to read in that small model python file which it has written on the local file system and this is a file it has produced which is called a small underscore model underscore prompt you see that we have the system prompt at the top and then um, we have seven examples there 
different hello because my function was very very simple so this is the first one second third fourth and it goes down all the examples are there are all seven of them and then you can just make your own choice and run from there so really prompt engineering at its best and uh, with the help of Olama, now you can run it all locally. You don't have to pay for any API cost at all. And you can do the prompt engineering at its finest. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I'm going to put all of this code in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.